Hello everybody, I am Tom and you are watching me play Hollow Knight. Um, last episode was, well I mean strictly speaking, the last episode was me doing the Path of Pain. Um, the episode before that would be, uh, the White Palace, uh, more generally. Um, I've yet to edit those videos. It's gonna take me a long time to edit those videos. Um, I think I've pretty much decided I'm gonna get them down to a video apiece. Um, but that's kind of <laughs> insane as it stands, just generally, because that's like, I don't know, shit, 10 hours of footage. I have like, now, I now have like, I think 45 hours in this game, and like a good quarter of that is just the White Palace. It took me like an hour and a bit to do the, um, an hour and a bit to do like the White Palace proper, and then after I found the path of, the path of pain, that is like... I think it's just shy of eight hours of footage. It's... It, that's insane as far as, uh... Look at that, I still take damage in dumb ways, but, you know. Um... Yeah, it, it, it was an insane ordeal to be able to get through that path of pain. However, I'm really glad that I did it. Also, the thing we got at the end of it was interesting. Um, I'm sure I'll probably discuss it post-commentary-wise in the actual episode. Um... But... That cutscene that you get at the end of the part of the pain seems to be the White King and the Hollow Knight. As in, like, the... there's, like, the memorial to him or whatever. I assume he's the one in the Black Egg because we got, um, access to the Black Egg Temple on our map when we found... Uh, just in here. This room here in the City of Tears has a memorial to the Hollow Knight in it. And then after you look at that, you get... Um, the Black Egg Temple on your map. Also, that there is kind of the... It's a big head? The, the, the guy in the little cutscene we got was smaller, but it looked like his head anyway. But, anyway, enough of that. In today's episode, a couple of things I want to do. One, I want to do, uh, I think up here there was a dream boss for me to do. Um, I don't think I actually went and checked to see if there was an actual dream boss up here, but I believe there was a corpse still sitting there. Which makes me think that there was a boss, indeed a boss there. Which would be awesome if that is the case. Um, so I'm going to teleport there now. And then we will see whether or not the uh, Soul Master has a dream variant. Alright, and we're back. And there is, by the look of it, a dream nail boss here. So I was right about that, that's something. Um, also worth noting is I changed my uh, charm loadout. So I've got uh, Long Nail, Mark of Pride, Nail Master's Glory, Sprint Master, and Sharp Shadow. So, full nail build. Should be fine. Um, the Soul Master wasn't particularly difficult, so I'm sure his dream variant shouldn't be that much harder. At least I wouldn't imagine so. Hey buddy. Oh, uh, actually, he is significantly faster. Hmm. He's not doing the nice attacks. There we go. Oh, there's six of them now rather than four. Ow. 
Hey, fuck off. I went down. So it's not as simple as I was expecting. Having said that, still not particularly difficult by the look of it. I just need to get better at um, some of those timings. Particularly like the, the six spirit orb dash. It was very easy to dodge with the four spirit orbs, but six makes it a bit harder. Because the places I used to dodge through, there's now a spirit orb there, so... Spirit orb. Whatever the fuck they are. Alright, I think I got the strategy down. The strategy is hug the right wall and only attack when very, very safe. He's just slightly too fast for me. Which is interesting because I was actually kind of getting used to, uh... Like I was saying, he's, he was fairly easy originally, but it seems like just adding that tiny bit of speed actually makes a noticeable difference. She knows. Ugh, that was killing me. And then I remembered I can pause the game. Don't jump then. Good on your night. I'll take the opportunity to heal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
just didn't jump. That was weird. Also, I'm still up here somehow, so I guess I can heal. Oh, that was fast. Oh, sweet. Got him. Second phase, hell of a lot easier than the first. You can just damage tank a lot of that. Hey buddy, did you say anything? Oh yeah. In my dreams I could see it. The kingdom's salvation. The cure for the plague. The answer was in the soul that animates our bodies. But the king, why? He opposed everything I did. His jealousy, his madness. By standing against me, he robbed me of my immortality. Now the king and his kingdom are dead, but I will live forever. Doesn't look like it. Alright. So I just had to be a lot more careful on that fight than um, I was expecting. Also, lots of soul. Um, I don't know if there's any use for having soul now that I'm... Like, I have the 1800 that gets me into the, the city of... The palace? What's it called? The White Palace? Um... I'd be interested to know if there is actually any kind of benefit to it, other than just, I don't know, bragging rights, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, also, I suppose, um, it's worth noting that every time I use my teleport, it costs one soul, but I doubt that's going to come into use. Like, the amount of times I actually have to teleport out of anywhere is pretty minimal. Ow. Fuck you. Fuck you, buddy. Um... I can't remember any more bosses that left corpses behind. I think I got them all. Um, just fuck off, please. I 
don't know if these guys spawn infinitely, but they spawn enough that it annoys me. May as well heal up. Soul is here. Um, the reason I'm going through here is that I haven't actually yet come through to recheck this area, so I figured I may as well while I'm here. Um, I don't think there's anything particularly interesting in this area. Except for a whole lot of mistakes. <laughs> it's funny because that's actually what the enemy is called. Um, you'll notice that I'm no longer gathering Geo. Like, I, well, I guess I'm still gathering Geo, but I'm not, like, I don't have uh, the Gathering Swarm ability on. Um, and the reason I took that charm off is, one, I don't think I need it anymore. I think I own pretty much every charm in the game, or every item that you can buy in the game, I suppose, is probably a better way of describing it. Um, the last thing I have to buy is from Salubra, which is like, it's like Salubra's breath Blessing or something, when I have all the charms. Um, it's like 800, so it's like pretty damn cheap. Um, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, so I guess that's a thing. It's kind of, it kind of struck me that I'm like, oh yeah, I don't actually need like any Geo for like anything. Which is kind of crazy, because like at the start of the game, I'm like, oh yeah, give me all the Geo I can possibly have, because I need all of it. But now it's kind of like... Do I care? Like, I've bought everything off, um... I've bought everything off Sly. I've bought everything off Map Lady, Barfanaba. Um... She takes rancid eggs. This guy just gives me stuff. Salubra has one thing I need to buy for 800. Uh, this can go away now. Uh, this guy down here only buys things. I have all the nail upgrades. Uh, speaking of which, I let him live, so I'm actually intrigued as to see, like, what's happened to him. Um, so I may go back there at some point. I'll have to remind myself to do that. Um, and I think that's it for vendors. I don't think I found any more vendors anywhere. Uh, Colosseum of Fools, that's not relevant. Uh, there's a Dream Seer up here. I don't, I think I'm pretty much done with her. I don't think there's anything else to get from her. So I think I actually don't need money anymore, which is insane. That's an insane thought. But, it's going to be a rather short episode, I think, but I think I'm actually going to leave it there. Um, because the only other notable thing I want to do before continuing sort of main area stuff is, um, the Colosseum of Fools. I need to do the last actual Colosseum of Fool in the Colosseum of Fools. So I think I'll do that next episode, and I think what the remainder of this episode will be is I'm going to go back through all the old areas and thoroughly explore everything. Um, because, you know, I can swim in acid now, so there's places that, that I haven't searched that probably had acid that I can search now. So I'm going to do all of that. Like these parts here both have acid in them, I think, so I should search both of them. Uh, the little squiggly line denotes acid, which is good to know. Play, it's, I can kind of focus my search a bit, but I'm just going to scour everything. Um, and if anything shows up, I shall cut back and show you guys. But I guess first things first, let's go back to Dirtmouth, and then I'll begin with Forgotten Crossroads. Alright, I'll cut back with anything useful, and if not, we'll close my outro. Alright, so we're back. I see a crack in the roof. That I somehow missed. With some geo in it. So there's a weird thing in the background. I don't know what that is specifically. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Oh, and a tree. <laughs> Fair enough, I suppose. I may as well get the essence. I don't think I really need it, but... I kind of want to get the lore off the tree, if nothing else. Alright, that's everything. Sweet. Didn't take particularly long to collect that. Ugh. Simple platforming. 
I've done the path of pain and yet this just can't handle it. Alright. <laughs> uh let's see. Twisting paths, traveling masses, vessel sealed. They've used the word vessel a few times. It's, a, it's an interesting choice of word. But I've seen it repeated, like, quite often. And I wonder what it's signifying. I mean, you talk about vessel and you have the hollow knight. That may be quite literal. Maybe he's a vessel to hold something else. Don't know. Interesting, though. Anyway, I'm going to cut again. Alright. Alright, so we're back. Um, <laughs> I found a, uh, a secret in this really, really side room. Um, we are over here. Um, it used to be, uh, Cornifer was in this room when we first came down here, and to the left there was a caterpillar in this room, all the way to the left. I thought it was just a, a caterpillar room, but if you come down here, underneath this platform you can swim down, which is interesting. Interesting, is this an alternate route into Fog Canyon? Maybe. Yeah. Totally is. I mean, I don't really want to explore here yet, but I need to kill you. I need to kill the big ones. For my hunter's journal. <laughs> Oh shit! Secrets! Aha! Hunter's journal complete. Um, where were you? There we go. Um, I need some sporgs. Sure. Really? You gonna do me like that? Oh. Hello, Nessiel. Fair enough. Um, I think I'm actually gonna leave. Just because I want to continue exploring other areas and then come back to Hello, uh, come back to Fog Canyon. Also, arguably, I want to get a, um, map of Fog Canyon first. But it's good to know that there's an area this way that you can actually get into Fog Canyon with, which is interesting. I wonder if that means you can get into Fog Canyon without needing the, um, the Shadow Dash or whatever. Interesting. It's a possibility, I guess. Ow. <laughs> so I get for trying to be lazy, I suppose. Anyway, I'm gonna cut again. Alright, I'm planning on going to the green path next, but uh, before we do, I'm gonna go see Grandpa Grub, because I think I've saved a few caterpillars. Yep. Less interested in the money, in all honesty, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna give me another charm at some point. Probably when I unlock all of the grubs, if I were to guess. Wow. That is a colossal amount of money. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. If I were to guess, I'd say I only have, like, three left, maybe? My guess is there's 40. I could be wrong in that guess, but I think I have 37. Um, assuming they're all visually accounted for there. Um, not entirely sure. But, anyway. More grubs we will find. I assume they're probably in the section I haven't been yet. And then other than that, we're probably fine. Um, but in any case, I'm going to explore Green Path now, so i are going to cut again. Um... Well, this is interesting. Ah, look who's joined us. We have quite a merry crowd now, don't we? This fellow came wandering into my hut, quite distraught, and on his own quest for a new calling in life. We talked and found a common love of creating and building and honing a craft. So now we make art together. It's good to have company. I didn't realize how lonely I was. It's like being with my brothers again. 
Stay with us if you like. So you met my brother Oro and convinced him to teach you na his nail art, hmm? It's been a long time since I've seen him. I wonder how much he's changed. He always seemed to be haunted by something, but I never learned what. No matter. The distance between us... No matter the distance between us, though, we are still brothers. I hope that passing down his learnings to you brought him some happiness. That charm. Only the great nail sage could have given that to you. Seeing how strong you've become, it always makes me want to take up my nail once more. But no, I should stay on my current path and keep working to my art. If the great nail sage ever comes by, I want to show him how far I've come. Huh? I have spare brushes and plenty of paint. Once you tire of the nail, feel free to join me in my art. Huh? Alright, sure. And the nail smith? Ah, Ronjo Senja. Hmm. Oh, hello, traveler. How strange that we should meet again in a world as vast as this. I must thank you for not killing me when I asked you to. I was irritated at first, but I had some time to think up there, and I soon saw the wisdom in your decision. The world is made of more than metal and me weapons. I sat out exploring and soon found my way here. Shio is a master of many arts, and, ha and has promised to teach me what he can. I think I'll be quite happy here. Huh. There was an achievement uh, linked to that. Ronjo Stenja. I'm afraid I can't speak at length. If I move too much, Shio's masterwork will be ruined, and I'd hate to see him upset. Though he may seem imposing, in truth he's a delicate sort. Jonsha. In all the dark of Hallow Nest, who'd have thought I'd meet such an inspiring soul? Jonsha. Huh. Well, I guess I'm happy I didn't kill him. I bet there's an achievement for killing him too, so next playthrough, he's gonna die. But, um... <laughs> but that's cool, and completely random. I wasn't even gonna search here, but... Um, coincidentally, I also have to kill, uh... I killed both these guys for their entry. I felt kind of bad about it. Um, these are the two guys that were with the corpse of the false knight crying over him. But um, I was... Decided that I'm gonna fill my um, my bestiary, so I had to kill them. Cause there's, um, there's those two are the only two in the game, I think. Cause you need two to fully do the the diary, so I killed them both. Unfortunately, I felt bad about it, but I feel better that there is an entry. Cause if I killed them for no reason, I would have felt worse. Um, <laughs> but we need this thing. We need to kill uh, a bunch of these, and there's one of them on this path. So well, there's a bunch of them on this path. So I came here to get them, and then... Yeah. Weird. Anyway, I'll cut again. <laughs> Alright, and we're back. Nail Master... Oh, nail Master Mato, sorry. That nail art. The dash slash. Learned from my brother Oro, was it not? So he's still alive, then? Hmm. I still haven't forgotten what he owes me, and I never will. Interesting. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't bother you with such things. I'm happy that you were able to train under another male master and grow stronger, my pupil. Finelo, bam. Ah, so my brother Shio taught you his nail art, the Great Slash. How lucky you are to have trained with him. Shio and I were very close when we trained together under the Great Nail Sage. He often spoke of becoming tired of the nail arts and wanting to try something new. I'm glad to see he changed his mind and continued to bear the proud title of nail master along with me. A charm? Could it be? When the great nail sage himself could have bestowed such a thing? Your achievements humble my own, my pupil. I myself have sworn never to lay eyes on the nail sage again, not until I have truly mastered his techniques. But if you see him again, please, let him know that I am forever grateful. Before you leave, rest and meditate with me for a while. Your company is always welcome. Sweet. My brother, Shio, how fare you in that green kingdom of thorns? I think I've already read this. Yep, I have. Alright. Oh, uh, sweet. Alright, I'm gonna cut again. <laughs> uh, Mato, by the way, is the one that's in the uh, Howling Cliffs area. So that's where I am currently. Just researching things to make sure I've got everything that I could possibly get. Alright, I'm gonna cut again. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
found a hello nest seal. She's indeed eating mushrooms. Interesting that she is actually eating mushrooms. Because the dream nail would suggest that she's carnivorous, but I guess she's omnivorous. Alright, gonna cut again. Alright, so we're back. I found a, uh, a dreamer that I forgot about. Elder Who. Wait, child. Why have you come here? Have you come to tame this savage ruined land? Many have come to purify this place, but all have dwell all who dwell here are eventually consumed. Yes, even the wild bugs lurking below us. They were once proud like you, but now they are only monsters. Beware dreams of glory, child. Turn back and do not return. Sure, fuck it. Ow. I was about to say he seems really easy and then he hit me. Alright, got him. Pretty easy. I feel like I was probably supposed to fight him a lot earlier. My mind, it clears. Have you been sleeping, child? Ah, oh, I remember. Those proud lords. Were they truly monsters? I remember their eyes now. Bright and clear. Why then did I fear them so? If there was madness in that village, it was I who brought it. They were right to cast me out. When I attacked, they were right to... They were right to kill. To kill... Me? Ah. Interesting. We remember the Elder. Interesting. He didn't look like a mantis, but... I assume... Because where is he? He's here. I mean, the people below, that could be the City of Tears, I suppose. It's like, like, this is the room we're in here, so I guess technically the City of Tears could be either. Hmm. Interesting. City of Tears or the, um, the Mantis Village, I guess. Anyway, there's another boss fight in there, so that's something, I suppose. <laughs> Alright, gonna cut again. Um, we're back again. New dialogue. Those charms, that smell, so, so much. I want to, yes. I know where, you, I know where you are now. Above me, much above me. But I know where to go. I will come. Don't try to hide from me. Interesting. Fair enough, I guess. Um, far above me. Huh, I wonder if he's talking about... Oh, he's gone. Alright, fair enough. Um, I think he's talking about the, the circus lady. The the lady from the Grim Troop. Because that's the only... Like, they had, like, linked charms. And she could, like, smell the charms or whatever. I can go through here now. So I'm going to. Uh, Interesting, there's a dream nail here.
I ate my double jump input. That was a shame. I keep falling down so much. And then there's one up here. That's everything. Sweet. Misted caverns, noxious spores, teacher. Alright then. I assume this is... Okay, this is another way into Fog Canyon. Good to know. I'm um, not going to go there yet, because I want to uh, explore everything else first. But that was that room done, so that's that little thing off my map now. Um, I'm actually going to sit... I can get rid of you. I can sit at this thing to give me that room on my map. Well, we're back. Oh, it's you again. I'm glad to see you return. No, no, please. Don't say a word. I must apologize for my previous behavior. Entirely my fault. I mistook you for one of those mindless skulking husks, yet you bested me in the most majestically knightly fashion. Ah, that tear. You've been to her grove. I swore I'd visit, but my duties, my oath. Oh, I'm sorry. Ignore me. I'm being foolish. If I'm not careful, I'll sink down into old memories and won't ever come back again. She's a great judge of character, so if she gave you, you her blessing, you must be something special indeed. I'm barely worthy to be in your presence. <laughs> Such joyful, vigorous combat. I'd almost forgotten the feeling. I was once a knight, you see. By the grace of our good king, I stood proudly before the throne, watching hollowness swell to greatness. Then that nasty business with the affliction... Interesting. <laughs> this guy is super deep in lore. We knights defended against the physical, but a formless enemy. How to defeat such a foe? Our king tried in his own way. A cruel means it was, and still, eventually, we were brought low. Interesting. Bah, I shouldn't be so morose. You've invigorated me. Tis truly a delight to see one whose strength can match my own. <laughs> Go now, mighty warrior of Hellnest. You've proven your honor. Good fortune on the path ahead. <laughs> so there were others. Interesting. I guess others that survived the affliction? <laughs> Interesting. Holy shit. <laughs> I saw that the ground was cracked just purely coincidentally. That was a well hidden secret. Like, way too well hidden. Who the hell is supposed to find that? Well, this is interesting. This one here looks like him. That one, I don't know. Nor that one. That's just a mound, but it could be the Grey Mourner. And that looks kind of like the False Knight. Interesting. Oh, interesting. Ah, oh, King's Idol. <laughs> and this is clearly a sculpture of the king. So 
So I guess this is this guy's house. Interesting. Considering how well this place was hidden, I'm kind of looking for clues of somewhere else that I could go even further. I wonder if I have additional dialogue with him now. Hmm, apparently not. Huh. Well, anyway. I'm gonna cut again. That was cool. Alright, we're back. I found a suspicious looking wall. That is indeed breakable. Well, hell. Could die here. Alright, we're back, and this time I have health. I mean, this works. That one was easier. The other two... That one seemed easier than the other two. I assume this is the way back. Yes. I can do this, though. a charm I was missing. Actually formed within a crystal over a long period, draws in soul from the surrounding area. The bearer will focus soul at a slower rate, but the healing effect will be doubled. Interesting. Double healing. Alright, so I have one more here, which I think comes from the grub guy. And then, whatever I have to do with this. I don't know what specifically, but it's a thing. Uh, before I leave, anything else in here? I doubt it, but I've been conditioned to check now. Sweet. Well, I think that about covers everything. Uh, so next time is going to be Colosseum of Fools. With that, I think I've now covered everything. Because this was pretty much the last place I had to check in here. Um, that was close. Um, I got all the beast cherry entries I wanted. Uh, here. The only ones I have left are dudes from the Colosseum of Fools. So I'll just get these by doing it, I suppose. Um, everything else should be full, which is awesome. It took me a while, but I did it. Uh, the only one I'm missing, I think, is... Up here somewhere. This one must fly. I can't even remember where I saw that, so I couldn't hunt it down. But everything else is complete, which I'm happy about. Um, so that's going to be it. If you like the video, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching. And I shall see you next time. Bye, guys.